welcome everybody problem. Now, our interest here is to work on the problem. So, this is our problem. A project schedule of construction has the following characteristic. Activity time 1 to 2 is 4, 1 to 3 is 1, 2 to 4 is 1, 3 to 4 is 1, 3 to 5 is 1, 4 to 9 is 4 to 5 days, 5 to 6 is 4 days, 5 to 7 is 8 days, 6 to 8 is 1 day, 7 to 8 is 2 days, 8 to 10 is 7 days, 9 to 10 is 5 days. Now, this is the composition of our critical part method. So, this is our solution. So, activity and time 1 to 1 to 2 is 4. So, you come to the network diagram in our network diagram this is our network diagram one to one to two one to two so we have even one and even two in between gives us the activity time so which is four followed by one to three one to three is here followed by two to four two to four is here followed by three to 4, 3 to 4 is here, 
3 to 5. 3 to 5 is here, so this is 5 given, which is 6, followed by 4 to 9. 4 to 9 is here, so 4 to 9, then followed by 5 to 6, so we have 5 to 6 is here, followed by 5 to 7. So the next activity is 5 to 7, so 5. So here is 5 to 7, which is here, then followed by 6 to 8, 6, 6 to 8 is here, then followed by 7 to 2, 7 is up here, to 2, which is 2 days, followed by 8 to 10, 8 to 10 is here, which is 5 days. So this gives us the network diagram. So number one question was to actually identify the network diagram. So we have actually drawn our network diagram, which is here. Number two is to establish the critical path method. Now, how do you do that? The best way you can do that is to prepare what you call latest time and earliest time. So in our earliest starting time and earliest finishing time, we can actually follow this diagram, network diagram. In our network diagram, you compute. You do what you call forward, forward event. So forward, you look at E1. E1 is 0. E2 will be 0 plus 4 gives us 4. So the earliest starting time, which is here, Earliest starting time is 0, earliest finishing time is 4, which is here. Then come to <coughs> latest starting time and latest finishing time. You do what we call backward flash. So in our backward flash, we start from now, here, E2, L2. So L2 is what? 9. Latest time is 9. So 9 is our latest finishing time. So our latest starting time will be 9 minus 4 gives us 5. So our latest starting time is 5. Next, 1, 4. Activity 1, 1, 3. 1, 3 is here. So our earliest time is 0, which is here. Then earliest finishing time is 1. Earliest finishing time is 1, which is 0 plus 1 is 1. Then we come to the latest finishing time. Latest finishing time is 1. Then latest starting time will be 1. Latest finishing time is 1 minus 1 gives us 0. So our latest finishing time is 0. Now you all you follow the same route all the way to the final. Follow the same steps to the final and you get these values. The earliest starting time, the earliest finishing time, the latest finishing starting time and the latest finishing time. Now how do you get the float? The only way you can get the float, you say latest starting time minus earliest starting time. 5 minus 0 is 5. 0 minus 0 is 0. Come to the next event. 10 minus 4, 5 is 5. 9, no it's 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. All the way to the last activity or event, which is the latest is 15 minus 10, which is giving us 5. Now, to get the float, how do you get the float? We said float is always 0. So you come here, 0 is 1, 3. 3, 4, 5, 
another zero is five seven seven eight eight ten now this gives us the critical part so when we come here one three is here followed by one no three five followed by five seven followed by seven eight and finally we have eight ten now this gives us the critical part the double lining indicates the critical part so we get now the solution for the last question the critical part is one three three five five seven seven eight and ten eight ten which we have given out project duration is 22 days so it's here and the last event is 22 days that brings us to the end of the preparation of critical path method thank you and god bless